Is there advice you can give to young folks how to be non-standard, how to stand out? Novelty, how to generate novelty. That's what I want on my tombstone. I have one. Um, he he generated novelty. No, no, how to. It's like, oh, how to. <laughs> how, how still. Um, I just love doing science. And so when I was younger, I was just a, just wanted to, I mean, I'm still not sure I'm a real scientist, right? So I want to try. So my advice for the young people is just, if you just if you love asking questions, then don't be afraid to ask the question, even if it pisses people off. Because if you piss people off, you're probably asking the right question. What I would say though is don't do what I did, which is just piss everyone <laughs> off. Try and work out how to, you know. I think ch ch if you're if other people are challenged by your questions, you will get not only your respect. But people will give you create space for you because you're doing something really new. I really try to create space in my academic career with my my team. Really try and praise them and push them to do new things. So my advice is try to do new things, get feedback, and the universe will help you. Because <laughs> <laughs> the universe likes novelty. I think so. I think so. Right. If this I, one will keep them around. <laughs> Oh what about you, Sarah? Um, you I, too like to ask the really out there. Big yeah, because uh, I have a strong passion for them. So I think um, uh, it goes back to the love. Like if you if you're doing the thing you're supposed to be doing, you should really love it. Um, so I always tell people that they should do the thing they're most passionate about. But I think a flip side of that is that's when you become uh, in some mind, like not to sound cheesy, but like your best version of yourself. So I guess. Like for me, as I become more successful in my career, I feel like I can be more myself as an individual. And so there's this, I've always been following the questions I'm most interested in, which very early on I was discouraged from doing by many people because they thought they were unanswerable questions. And I always just thought, well, if no one's even trying to answer them, of course they're going to be unanswerable. And then that was kind of an odd viewpoint. But the more I, I found my way in that space, the more I also made a space for myself as a person because you're basically generating the niche that you want to exist in. Um, and so I think um, I think that's that's part of it is not just to follow your passion, but also think about like, who do you want to be and create that?